Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play The Bard's Tale for the NES Part 2. When we last left off, we grinded all the way up to level 8, and bought us some better equipment. So with that said, let's get started. Now what we're going to do is go to the Scarlet Bard and explore the cellars beneath it. Uh oh, watch out, it's some orcs. What we're going to do here is have our three main fighters attack. It is going to take two rounds for them to kill all the orcs, but that way I'll save my magic points. Look, look, smash orc! Yay, we won. Oh, what is it this time? Uh-oh, it's some goblins. This will be very easy. I'll be able to kill them in one round. Just have my three main fighters attack them. That was easy enough. Oh yeah, I forgot. I should have cast this spell a little earlier. Let's go ahead and summon an ogre. A phantom ogre appears and follows the party. The stone statue of a wizard stands in your way. What do you do? You check it and then you kick the wizard's ass. Ah, oh, shit, he summoned an ogre. Now next round I'm going to have Honky Kong use Disbelieve to make the ogre disappear. And just like that, the ogre disappears. Now let's talk to the bartender about some grape juice. Grape juice is kept in the underground cellar! Help yourself! Well, go down that ladder! Look, look, I want to get drunk! You are in the cellar of the Scarlet Bard. It smells moldy. The light of the shop reaches here. But you need another light to go forward. Alright then, we'll have Magma cast his Lesser Revelation spell, so then we can get some light up in here. Not only does this spell cast some light, but it also allows you to see secret doors. Watch out now, it's three orcs and three orc leaders. Let's go ahead and use our three main fighters to take out the leaders, and then next round we'll kill the regular orcs. Look, look, smash puny orc leader! There we go, we won. Let's make Star Soldier useful for once and have him sing the song of Wayland's Watch. This will help us avoid some fights. Letters are written on the door. Cheap grape juice, help yourself. Look, look, don't want cheap shit. 
letters are written on the door. Good grape juice, private. Lug Lug went to get drunk. There are empty bottles on the floor. There is no grape juice. Lug Lug pissed. A cold wind is blowing from somewhere. Well, maybe it's behind this door. Oh shit, now we gotta face some sorcerers. I'm just gonna attack these guys with my three main fighters and kill them in two rounds. That way I don't have to waste magic points on them. Ah shit, he summoned a wind warrior. Now I'm gonna have to use Honky Kong's disbelief spell in the next round. And the sorcerers go down. Ooh, I found a chest. Let's have Star Soldier check it. He'll be the guinea pig. Open it up, Star Soldier. Haha, <laughs> you got poisoned. Alright, I found some leather gloves. Now let's go ahead and use Magma Case Flesh Restored to unpoison Star Soldier, and then we'll give the gloves to Honky Kong. Now let's go ahead and equip the leather gloves. Watch out now, it's some hobgoblins and some goblins. What we're going to do here is have Jay, Luglug, -Lug, and Jacksaw attack the hobgoblins, have Honky Kong cast mind darts on one group of goblins, and have Magma WK cast star flare on the other group of goblins, and we will kill them in one round. That was simple enough. There are some stairs. Do you want to use them? Sure, why not? This is a sewer which sprawls beneath. Scarabrawl. Moisture fills the air. Alright, now that we know we're in the sewers, let's go do some exploring. Ah, did you hear the change in the music? That means Star Soldier's song has worn off, so he needs to sing us another one. Oh, really? Just two sorcerers? Is that all you got? You're gonna get your ass kicked. Lug Lug don't like arc fire! Lug Lug kill you! Oh, we found another chest. Let's get our guinea pig star soldier to open it. It's a bard buster! And I also find a cow's compass, which is useless, so I'm going to sell it later on. Magma, would you give Star Soldier a heal? Indeed. Ooh, it's some tarantulas. These guys are not to be messed with. And of course, they catch me off guard, so they get free attacks. That's some bullshit. Since there's only three tarantulas, I will fight them this time. But if I run into a bigger group of them, I will run. They can do about 10 to 25 damage each attack. That's why I say they're not to be messed with. 
All right, our Wind Ogre defeated one, so now there's only two left. This should be pretty easy from here on out. And the Tarantulas are defeated. All right, another chest. Let's use Magma's Trap Zap spell this time to open the chest. Nice, I found a gold ring. This item is very cool. If you use it during a battle, and then you win that battle, it will double your experience and the gold you receive from it. Since Star Soldier doesn't do very much, let's just go ahead and give him the gold ring, so then he can be able to use it during a battle. Upstairs is the Adventurer's Guild. You can hear loud voices and music. Oh hell no, I'm not fighting eight tarantulas. They'll mess me up, so I'm gonna run. Ah oh, shit, I couldn't run. So now I'm gonna guard and then try to run the next round. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I'm gonna guard again and then try to run the next round. Finally, we got away. A magic mouth appears and says, Eldritch, the old king of Scarabra is buried. In the town, enter the catacombs from the Temple of the Heretics and search for his tomb. Uh-oh, our light spell ran out. Let's go ahead and use another one. That was just a battle with a couple tarantulas. I kicked their ass. But they did do some damage to Jay, so we're going to need to heal them. All right, we're all healed up. Let's continue on. That was a group of five tarantulas that took me a couple rounds to run from, so they messed Jack's all jack up, so we're gonna need to heal. Now that we're all healed up, let's go exploring some more. Uh-oh, we got some sorcerers and some skeletons. What we're gonna do here is have Jay and Luglug -Lug attack the sorcerers, have Jacksaw Jack attack the single skeleton, and then have Honky Kong use his magic water spell on the gr first group of skeletons. That was a very easy battle there. Alright, we found a chest. Let's use Trap Zap on it. Damn it, Magma, you blew up the whole damn party. Oh my. Now, since you blew up the whole damn party, heal us all up, Magma. Indeed. Well, we got our three main fighters healed up, so let's continue on. A magic mouth appears and says, A hundred years ago, there was a wicked wizard. named Tarjan, who proclaimed himself ruler. His image is locked in stone until made whole again. The heretics are men who adore and meditate to Tarjan. Okay, very interesting, I guess. Alright, it's a new creature I haven't shown you yet. Some spiders and one tarantula. I'm gonna whoop their ass. What the hell's up with all these, your party's not ready yet? That's some bullshit.
The spiders in these dungeons are easy. It's those damn tarantulas that you got to worry about. That was just seven orc leaders who got their ass whooped. Let's have Star Soldier sing us another repel spell song. That was just four sorcerers who got their asses kicked. That was eight sorcerers, and it did take me a while to beat them all. And Lug Lug got beat up a little bit by them eight sorcerers, so let's go ahead and heal them. Once you reach this point, make sure you have everybody healed up to a good amount of hit points and have Star Soldier sing the Seeker's Ballad. That will give us negative two to our armor class. A weird stone statue of a spider stands in the way. What do you do? You check statues. What else do you do? The spider begins to move and attack you. Uh-oh, it's our first boss. It's the Black Widow. What we're going to do here is have our three main fighters attack the Black Widow, then have Star Soldier use the gold ring so we can get double experience and double the gold after this fight. Then we're going to have Honky Kong use battle skill on Jay so he can do more damage. Holy shit, look at that. He did 42 damage to Jay, and he poisoned me. He's a tough son of a bitch. What we're going to do this round is have our three main fighters attack the Black Widow, have Honky Kong cast Battle Skill on Lug Lug so he can do more damage, and then have Magma K cast a Word of Healing on Jay so I can recover some of the 42 hit points that he did to me. Ah, oh, shit, why you gotta keep attacking me? Attack somebody else, damn it. One thing I hate about this game, if someone's status is affected, it covers up your hit points, so you don't even know how many hit points you got. This round, we're gonna attack the Black Widow with all three of our fighters, then Honky Kong's gonna cast Battle Skill on Jacksaw, and Magma's gonna use another Word of Healing on Jay. There you go, asshole. Pick on somebody else. Leave Jay alone. And Jay gets the final blow on the Black Widow. Look at that. 1,000 experience. If we didn't use the Golden Ring, we'd have only got 500. There is a body which looks like a heretic. What do you do? You check it, of course. You inspect his own and rotted clothes, and find proof that he is a heretic. Jay found the heretic proof. What the hell? I didn't even take a step. How am I fighting in battle? Well, anyway, at least it's an easy one. It's just some stupid goblins. Yay, the annoying goblins are defeated.
What we want to do now is have Star Soldier sing the Traveler's tune. That will teleport us back to the Adventurer's Guild. But Star Soldier has lost his voice, so let's use the drop so he can sing one last song. Alright, we're back at the Adventurer's Guild. The first place we want to go to is the Temple, so we can get healed up and get Jay unpoisoned. Oh, that's weird. I thought for sure that would unpoison me. I guess not. I'll just have to use Magma WK's Flesh Restore. Now let's go to the Review Council and see if we gained an extra level. Oh, we still need 3,800. We're not even close. Now let's head to the Adventurer's Guild so I can save my game and end this video. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play The Bard's Tale for the NES Part 2. I want to thank you again for watching and be sure to stay tuned for Part 3.